It was a very emotional morning into afternoon. It lasted for just over two hours. He was affectionately known as simply Bishop Dave. The auxiliary bishop from Ireland had called the greater L.A. area home for nearly five decades. And today, those who knew him best spoke at his funeral. And he was a friend of souls. David did soul work. He spoke to the soul. He healed souls. He brought peace to souls. For David, as an English writer had it, affairs were soul-sized. The enterprise was exploration into God. Delivering the homily there, that's Monsignor Jay Cunan, who serves St. Cornelius Catholic Church in Long Beach. Father Cunane and Bishop David O'Connell had a special bond because they both came to L.A. from Ireland. In fact, they first met at a seminary in Dublin decades ago. Today's funeral at the Cathedral of Our Lady of the Angels was led by, of course, Archbishop Jose H. Gomez. It comes just under two weeks after the bishop was shot and killed at his Hacienda Heights home. Now, the service today included many light-hearted moments because Bishop Dave was known for his jokes. The bishop's nephew here, named after his uncle, made that very clear. I'm not sure if many of you today have heard this before, but my uncle liked to tell a joke. <laughs> when we were kids, we got to see all the wonderful places we had always dreamed of. Disneyland, Universal Studios, Denny's for breakfast. <laughs> Bishop O'Connell's nephew there said his uncle always made time for friends, family, and strangers, and did for others without expecting anything in return. The bishop served the San Gabriel Pastoral Region of the Archdiocese of Los Angeles, where he was revered by all who knew him. A 61-year-old Carlos Medina of Torrance remains behind bars, charged with killing the bishop. That was February 18th. Medina is the husband of the bishop's housekeeper. Motive is still not known, but of course, the past few days have not been about the suspect. Instead, the focus solely on remembering the beloved Bishop David yeah. O'Connell.